spontaneously the way I would love to be able to do. That must have been hard. Very, very hard. It's been, it's been a long road, but you know what? I'm just so grateful that I have found a way to do it. Shania Twain is a Canadian singer and songwriter. She sold over 100 million records, making her the best-selling female artist in country music history and one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Twain has received five Grammy Awards, a World Music Award, 27 BMI Songwriter Awards, stars on the Canadian Walk of Fame and the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and an induction into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Twain is ranked as the 10th best-selling artist of the Nielsen SoundScan era. Billboard listed Twain as the 13th greatest music video female solo artist of all time. The first show, my first residency in Las Vegas was a big test. Um, could I do it? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I was forcing, that was really the challenge of courage for me. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Eileen Regina Edwards, but is also known as Shania or Woody. She was born August 28, 1965 in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, making her age 55 at the time of this production. She stands at 163 centimeters or 5 feet 4 inches tall. Twain cites Dolly Parton, Mickey Guyton, Taylor Swift, the Dixie Chicks, Winona Judd and Kelsey Ballerini is some of her favorite female country artists. Twain is a vegetarian and a devotee of Saint Ma, an Eastern spiritual philosophy. She created Shania Kids Can in 2010 to address the needs of young school children who are typically overlooked by social assistance programs. Twain's autobiography from this moment on was released on March 27, 2011. Twain met producer Robert John Mutt Lang after he heard her original songs and singing from her debut album. He then offered to produce and write songs with her. They first met at Nashville's Fanfare in June 1993 and quickly became close. They fell in love and were married on December 28, 1993 and had a son, Asia, on August 12, 2001. However, after 15 years, on May 15, 2008, it was announced that Twain and Lang were separating after Lang allegedly had an affair with Twain's best friend, Anne-Marie Thibault. Their divorce was finalized on June 9, 2010. On December 20, 2010, it was reported that Twain was engaged to Swiss Nestle executive Frederick Thibault, the ex-husband of Marie Anne. They were married on January 1, 2011 in Rincon, Puerto Rico. Twain is a longtime resident of Corso, Switzerland, where her son was born challenge and that all those obstacles so I'm gonna focus all of my energy and my uh, emotions into the production so I'm gonna be way more involved with the production Twain was born Eileen Regina Edwards in Windsor Ontario on August 28 1965 to Sharon and Clarence Edwards she has two sisters Jill and Carrie Ann her parents divorced when she was two and her mother moved to Timmins Ontario with her daughters her parents earned a little money and food was often scarce in their household. In Timmins, Twain started singing at bars at the age of eight to try to help the family pay bills. At age 13, Twain was invited to perform on the CBC Tommy Hunter show while attending Timmins High and vocational school. She was also the singer for a local band called Longshot, which covered top 40 music. Shania released her first album named Shania Twain in 1993. The album was not a big success, but it did reach one important fan, Robert John Mutt Lang. After getting in touch with Twain, Lang set to work with her on her next album. Twain and Lang co-wrote 10 of the 12 tracks for Twain's next album, The Woman and Me, released in 1995. Twain loved the album, but given Lang's rock background and the record's forays into pop as well as country music, she worried about how people would react. Twain's subsequent album, Come On Over, released in 1997, another co-production with Lang, further fused country and pop. It also had more chart-topping songs, including pumped-up anthems such as Man, I Feel Like a Woman and That Don't Impress Me Much, as well as romantic ballads such as You're Still the One and From This Moment On. In 1999, You're Still the One earned Twain two Grammys, one for Best Country Song 
and another for Best Female Country Vocal Performance. The song also reached number one on Billboard's country charts. The next year, Twain took home another two Grammys when Come On Over was named Best Country Song and Man, I Feel Like a Woman won for Best Female Country Vocal Performance. Come On Over reigned at number one on the country charts for a combined 50 weeks. It became the best-selling country album of all time, reaching 40 million in worldwide sales, as well as the top-selling album by a solo female artist. With the success of Come On Over, followed by a popular tour, Twain became an international star. In 2002, Twain's Up was released. There were three versions of the album, a red pop version, a green country disc, and a blue version that had an international bollywood influence flavor. By 2004, Shania had recorded enough material for her first compilation of greatest hits. It was released in the fall of that year. The album would top the charts and eventually go quadruple platinum. Twain then had an upset when she had her divorce, but in 2012, Twain stepped fully back into the public eye when she began a series of elaborate shows at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. The performer later returned to Vegas in December 2019 for a residency at Planet Hollywood's Zappos Theater, this one titled Let's Go. In March 2015, Twain announced plans for a summer tour to take her through 48 cities. Meanwhile, she worked on new music with the release of the singles Life's About to Get Good and Swingin' With My Eyes Closed in mid-2017, heralding the arrival of her long-awaited comeback album. After years of occasional appearances on TV shows like American Idol and Broad City, Twain made her feature film debut alongside John Travolta in the 2019 racing film Trading Paint. Break because oh. I wasn't able to sing for all those mm. years. Mm -hmm. um, I'd finished my last tour, which I believe was up at the time. Shania has made most of her money by album sales. She since sold over 75 million albums worldwide. She sold a record 20 million copies of her album The Woman in Me in 1995 for $22 million. Further, in 1997, she sold 40 million copies of her album Come On Over, and that earned her approximately $45 million. In 1998, she earned $24 million from the ticket sales of her concerts. She further sold 20 million copies of her album Up for $24 million. She earned a total gross revenue of $100 million from the ticket sales of her UP tour in 2003. Further, she's also earned from appearing in TV shows and movies. Shania Twain's net worth is $400 million. Shania Twain's home in Switzerland is considered her primary source of residence. The home is located in the town of Corso and overlooks the Geneva. The beautiful home is smaller than her previous residence. She lives there with her husband and son. Prior to moving in, Twain lived in a gorgeous Swiss castle chateau de Sally until 2006. The castle sits on a gorgeous estate with massive lawns and is hidden on a hill. Twain revealed she lives on a farm in the suburbs of Las Vegas during shows. Shania also has a home in the Bahamas. The home sits on one acre of beachfront property and is a whopping 7,000 square feet. The five-bedroom, six-bathroom home also includes a large media room, massive kitchen, high ceilings, and a dining room. There's also a spacious pool area by the back, including both a pool and jacuzzi. Twain puts the property on sale in 2019 with an asking price of $10.95 million. Twain also owns a cottage in the Lake of Bays area of Ontario. For a period of time, Twain also owned a luxury lodge in New Zealand, which she bought in 2004 for a whopping $21 million with her husband. The cars and bikes you'll find in Twain's garage are a Toyota Land Cruiser, Ford F-150, Mercedes G-Class, Ferrari 360 Modena,
1966 Ford Thunderbird Convertible. 